Welcome to the Pure Performance Cafe. May I take your order? Yes, I would like a shot of Pure Performance, please. Coming right up. Welcome to another episode of the Pure Performance Cafe. It has been a while, but every time it seems when I go back to Linz into our office, uh, I'll find people to talk to. And uh, right now I'm standing in our cafeteria. You may be able to hear the background noise, people chatting. But in front of me is Stefan. Stefan Baumgarten, hi. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited to be at the Perf, per, what's it? Not Perf Bites, it's no, Performance Cafe. It's Pure Performance, performance Cafe. Cafe. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, oh, that's Perf, great. Perf Bites is uh, yeah. our friends yeah. from Perf Bites, yeah. uh, Mark Tomlinson. Yeah. Uh, I, I was on Spode. their podcast once, so that's why. But, but uh, uh, it's cool now I'm at the official Dinosaurs podcast. Bucket list, check, great. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, so Stefan, here's an interesting thing. I come to the office yesterday yeah. and then Eva Maria, she uh, pulls me to the side and says, you need to talk to Stefan Baumgartner because he's a Microsoft MVP. And I said, no yeah. way, come on. He runs around <laughs> with his MacBook and he has nothing to do with Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. But, but what's it, se it seems like that, that I don't yeah. have nothing to do with Microsoft, but there, there are a few connections here and there. So uh, the thing is, yeah, right, the last line of C Sharp that I've written that was 2005 or something, so yeah. quite a while ago. But um, it happened to be that last year I was invited by Microsoft to join um, the technology advisory group for browser technologies. So Microsoft did a test run, inviting experts out of their comfort zones, if you will, or, or out of the, the main area mm -hmm. uh, and invited them to monthly discussion rounds and new features on the web, uh, new browser features, checking the landscape, checking the community, uh, getting getting information, also promoting new features and new uh, um, product information that they want to send out to the community. And um, rather early, a couple of meetings uh, in Uh, um, there was a core group of, uh, let's say, four to five people who were regularity meetings, always provided good feedback. And this project ran for a year. Mm -hmm. And after that, they said, okay, this project doesn't have any funding anymore. It was a great uh, um, experiment. Mm -hmm. They learned a lot. Uh, and they offered everyone who participated in uh, those, those THG tech calls mm -hmm. um, to be uh, promoted to an MVP, mm -hmm. like... Uh, um, Sign up, nominate yourself for an MVP. They will root for you. Mm. Um, and also because Microsoft opened themselves up to other areas. So last year they decided to hire people who haven't touched Microsoft that much as, as other people did. Mm -hmm. uh, um, For example, they, they, they uh, hired a lot of people from the Angular community mm -hmm. uh, because they had strong connections with, with TypeScript, etc., mm -hmm. and they're now all working for Azure. Mm -hmm. um, and also opening up to, to the community outside .NET, outside Azure, etc. And for me, it was browser technologies. So um, I run a podcast with 60,000 listeners per episode, wow. uh, well, Working yeah. Draft. Well, I think a German podcast with 60,000 60, listeners per episode. Wow. So this is, this is pretty huge. We, we don't even reach these numbers on a global scale. Come on, we need to learn from you. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. But yeah. we, we're doing that for uh, seven, eight years now. Okay. So um, we, we have a track record. Yeah, And just... yeah, 400 episodes. Wow, so um, I ran a, a JavaScript conference where we always had very good connections with Microsoft people. So we invite, uh, every time we invite somebody from Microsoft because they provide A speakers, good topics, support us in all, all the things we are doing. So there's a good connection, strong connection with Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Def one, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you bring in uh, Donovan Brown? Is uh, that no, uh, uh, funny enough, I didn't. That was Rainer Strobeck. He's oh, also okay. an MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, um, I gave my plus one. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, of course, the Meetup Technologie Blauschel has 2,000 members in Linz now who, who are in the Technologie Blauschel group, 200 people per Meetup. Uh, um, the JavaScript Meetup, Stahlstadt Chess. So all of those things combined, and, and me writing for Smashing Magazine, a list of parts, Screen Guide, uh, Manning publications. So there's a lot of things that, that went on, which... Uh, yeah, accidentally, mm -hmm. if you will, appear to be now of interest for Microsoft. Yeah. So um, that's that's why they gave their their check. And that's it was it was funny. Um, I signed up in December. I got in in January. I got the information. Um, we are not quite sure yet. Let's wait and see. We 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 have an eye on you. Mm -hmm. uh, then I had my JavaScript conference where we had people from Microsoft speaking. Yeah. And a week later, I got I got the yes. Cool. I'm now an MVP. It was at the airport in Las Vegas oh. after perform, oh, here we go, like yeah. standing in in a group with all my colleagues. I got the email. I said, Oh no, really? <laughs> <laughs> and putting a smile on my face, the 10 hours flight. Home. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so that's that's the story, and cool. um, I think it shows that that Microsoft is really opening themselves up to to other areas, yeah. especially uh, uh, the open source JavaScript area, which which they are also actively pr pushing and promoting with their efforts in Visual Studio Code and TypeScript. Mm -hmm. um, 
and so so they're helping us as a community a lot and i guess that's why it's also good to give something back from the community yeah. that's pretty cool it's yeah. great that the value is an mvp for microsoft uh doing and obviously all the great work that you've just told us about contributing to the community to, yeah. the, to the better good of you know allowing developers to build just better apps out there right and that's exactly. what it is yeah? exactly that's pretty cool hey yeah. uh what are the next events coming up maybe to promote you mentioned uh, dev one is coming Def up one is coming up that's, yeah. that's one of the so i'm speaking next week at a, at a um, uh, um, mobility conference in vienna yeah. that just happened to to come because i'm an mvp so the the, the organizer went through the mvp list of austria yeah. and invited me um that's next week on on, on wednesday uh, then is step one, uh, uh, April 26, I yeah. guess. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing this conference yeah. uh, again, and I'm super excited cool. about that. So. Is space suits again or something yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, we, we are not sure yet which kind of space suit, if you go Star Trek or the Futurama guy, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or something in between. Yeah. But, but yeah, I hope, I hope they won't be as warm as the last ones because yeah, I was I remember so that, sweating uh, bullets on stage. Yeah. Uh, not because of, of my of, of stage fright, but yeah. because of this thick, warm space suit. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so those are the next and upcoming events. Um, and then there's May. I'm going to be at Beyond Teleran just as a guest, but this is all, always a conference where you can go to. Uh, yeah. Also uh, support Microsoft if, if that's of interest. And mm. this, is my, this, is my, you know, this is my second home. Yeah. Beyond Teleran, that's, always, that's my gang there. Yeah. Yeah. That's my people. That's like I meet 100 friends at one time. So this is, this is great. So. Cool. Awesome. And right. I think another shout out. I mean, obviously, we both work at Diamond Trace. Yeah. If you happen to be in Linz or in Klagenfurt, where we have a lab in yeah. Barcelona, in Gdansk, in Poland, yeah, right, we're always also looking for more talent out there. Definitely, and join Absolutely. our teams here. Right? Yeah, and you, if if you are uh, uh, familiar with any technology, we use them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's the exciting <laughs> so, thing about us, right? Yeah, because yeah. So, we, so we try every to stay technology on top of is things. welcome here because we we need to support every technology. So if you are into .NET, if you are into Java, if you are into TypeScript, everything is happening here. So. You will find a place. Yeah, I think you must have been very excited with the Microsoft HoloLens experience then that we guys built. Yeah, right? it was so great. I didn't, I didn't try it for myself because I get um, it's not vertical. What's what's the thing? Motion sickness. Motion, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I love. that's also the reason why I can't play any of the 3D Mario games. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but seeing the demos live on stage or perform was like, oh, that's that's next level shit. Yeah. That's amazing. Hey, Stefan, so cool. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, sure. And to the listeners, I know it was a little noisy in the background, but I think it should be hopefully all right. And if yeah. people want to reach out to you, maybe a Twitter handle yeah, or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm Dead Parrot on Twitter, like the Dead Parrot from Monty Python, but without all the vowels. So okay. that's that's a weird handle. Maybe you link it in the show notes. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Fat Blog on, uh, uh, on the web. And yeah, that's, that's the best way to reach out to me. Cool. Thank right. you. Have a good weekend. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Bye.